Hello viewers, it's Abdul Rimba Bartendi for like again for this channel, Nubi Apostle Designer. Hope you are enjoying our videos. Hope you are learning things, learning stuff from our videos. So as usual today, I bring another video, which is like uh, what I call how to create your first simulation in Aston Plus. So, but before we proceed to that video, um, I would like to introduce the channel to the new member, like his if you are new members that are just watching these videos. Uh, Numbia Professor Designer is a channel for students and young professionals out there who want to learn the rudiment of process design engineering. So we on this channel we create a lot of videos that teach how to do process simulation, process modeling, process optimization with um with software, some um, major software in the market. And we also do CAD modeling, do you understand, like plants or um, equipment modeling of the equipment, you know, 3D modeling of the plants, isometric drawing, and so on. So, um, so if you are just joining us, please do subscribe and like and share our channel so that you encourage us because this channel is just to educate, like to interact with um, students all over the world to, to solve science and learn more about process design this is another video on Aspen Plus but I want to make this video to be the first thing that you will learn as I mean maybe you are just an undergraduate that doesn't really that have not been deep have no experience with process simulation so this will be like the bedrock for a uh, video that will help you to shape a good or uh, a solid bedrock on process simulation so I made it as simple as possible so you don't need an experience to understand what we're doing on these videos so um it's just a little simulation so let me show you the simulation it's just a simple cold drying process so i'm going to model a cold dryer you understand a cold dryer in in aspen plus for in this simulation so for the cold dryer we have from normally wet stream like well let me explain the meaning of cold drying cold drying is just like um removing the moisture content of cold before combustion you put you using it you understand most of the code that we use, just like you can't burn the wet tool, you have to dry it first. So instead of waiting for it, putting it outside to dry, you can mechanize it, you understand, it, use use our technology to dry it, you know, to be faster and more efficient. So you tend to use a dry air, you understand, to dry by passing out the coal, you understand, in the, in the, with the dry air, in a dryer, you understand, it can be mechanical dryer, you understand. So right now we are going to model it with Aspen Plus, modeling the process with Aspen Plus and we are going to check by viewing any parameters what will be the effect that like characterize the process. You understand? We want to understand all the deep, we want to understand the products with respect to the amount of um the feed, the, the material uh, material stream. You understand? We want to understand all the properties of the streams so we can get that with our stream flow. So that's what we are doing today. So for the cold dryer, the feed stream is the wet stream, uh, wet coal coming out at uh, coming in at seventy seven Fahrenheit. And the prayer 
14.7 psi pounds per square inches. The cool flow is like very large, 10,000 pounds per hour. The water contains, the moisture contains 25 weight percent. And nitrogen, which is the drying air, drying gas is the temperature, having temperature of 2270 Fahrenheit, you know, higher temperature than the, the wet cool. Yes, and the pressure is 14.7 psi, same pressure. Yes, the mass flow is 50,000 pounds per hour. And it is not a pure nitrogen, you understand, it's having some impurities, oxygen impurities, you can see the more fraction is 0.999 and the more fraction of oxygen impurity is 0.001. So the dryer is the equipment. So we have the extracts from the guy, the extracts dry, that is, you understand, the flue gas, if it is combustion process, yes. Then the dry gas. So we want our dry gas to be having 10 which percent more water content and the process is going to be isobaric and isobar isobaric and adiabatic process. As a very intense, like your know, the system is having constant period, there's no change in period, you understand. It's having one prayer, you understand. The product is having the same prayer as repeat, you understand. Why the diabetic means there is no eat. The the system is having no eat, you understand, thermodynamic your base thermodynamic. So we are going to be using um standard aspen plus um, block, which is how stoke and flash through. Because generally, most simulators tend to make a very um, a list of series of let's just say a series of standard blocks that they can they believe it can be used to model a lot of equipment that we use in the plants. You understand? So we can. The, it's just our own work is just to know which which model we should use to model this one. How we can com combine these two two models together? You understand to serve our purpose to you know because they can't really make all the model for all the equipment in the plant there's a lot of equipment so you have to know how to print the two models as an engineer you understand bring the two two or more models you understand to serve our process and also there is a if you are if you improve you understand you there's a way to create your own model you understand by using their tools their resources in the simulator so you understand to create your own custom model that even if you if there is no way you try to combine two or more their own standard model and there's no way to do it you can still create your own model you understand using aspen custom model you understand or user models so um okay so on how i'm going to do the simulation step okay let me show you the the model well, let's start from the beginning then we are just going to first we are going to do anything that we want to do is to create an, a model you understand we have to create a simulation case so I'm going to create a, a simulation case. So because the model we're going to do, there's a, a lot of templates with um default settings and default tracing. So it's not like all the software that I've been using, you have default settings so that you, you are not going to, every time you create a new model, you're not going to set up all the settings. You understand? There's a lot of forms and aspects also. This choosing, choosing the right template will help you to set all the settings that you need for your model. The, the unit set, the flow, the steam format, that it, the view, you can even create your own if you don't like the standard one you know a separation you can see gas processing metallurgic and pharmaceutical process polymer you understand you can even create your own that fit. so every time you want to start a new simulation you just start from the templates you understand so now we want to use um solid so we are going to pick solid with english unit as our property so you can see some of the major pv like you say property method some will even create a, a property method for you. Later, I'm going to explain the video of property method. So, I'm going to create a new simulation case. So, okay, now, now I have the new simulation case. So, let's go back to this. So, our simulation steps, I want to summarize the whole thing before we start. So, the first thing we are going to do generally when you are using a simulator is to use for a simulator like Aspenasis, you are going to specify the components, you understand the component that you use, you are going to use in the simulation kit. So I will specify the component, then I will specify thermodynamic model, that is the property method I was talking about, is the model, the uh, term, can, term, thermodynamic model that is going to use to calculate the physical property, the stream properties, and all the all the things that, that will be used in the, in the stream, to, you understand all the stream properties, the enthalpy, the entropy of the stream so it can be used maybe you want to do pipe sizing in the future you and sound more more rigorous simulation you can be used here so so we then we are going to define the flow sheets equipment like creating the blocks and all the all the rest then we are going to specify the flow sheet the flow rates you understand and the thermodynamic condition because the intensive properties like the temperature and the prior of the stream although it's already given the flow sheet you understand the flow to 
you understand we're going to specify then at the end we are going to run the simulation and like so it's a very simple process so so starting with the specifying the components the component that we are going to use you can use this fine button to get you are going to use water you know this guy in stream h two o we are going to we are going to find it and add it to and it wait for you to find okay h two water is giving me something that I don't like to so let you see it's still water oops so let us go let us write water I think it's because of the data bank name okay that's it now we have lime water we need this still water issue so i'm going to add this so you can see so we need nitrogen to n2 nitrogen okay or let's use or oh, formula you can't you can't put formula i just write nitrogen Nitrogen, then to find it. Okay, one to nitrogen. So this is nitrogen. Add this one. So we have oxygen. Oxygen. So we are going to add oxygen. Add it. Then okay. So I think that's right because that's some kind of component that we have to mention in Aspen Plus. We have like four type of components, or even a lot. So well, what we are going to discuss now is conventional, non-conventional, solid. You know, because um Aspen Plus is majorly used to model non-ID system, like a lot of non-ID systems, like coal. You understand? That's why we are using this system because it has the capability to do it because it can model a non-conventional component that is instead of doing flash you understand you can just model stone you understand so it's you know stone contain a lot of components called like elements generally what i see is um is a component in this system you understand nitrogen is a component oxygen is just components have its own properties carbon properties all this but coal coal is contain carbon contain oxygen contain sulfur how are we going to be modeling coal? And if you try to break down to all these elements, it cannot model the real coal. It's the way the real coal, you understand, the combined coal, chemical properties of coal. So there is a way you can do that, but you have to define the coal as not a conventional component because it is, it's not going to have the structure of a conventional. Component. So you define it as having no convention, like as being a no conventional component. So I'm going to write coal here. So I'm going to write no conventional. no no conventional components it's a, so after i'm done with that uh the next thing is to I'm, i think i'm done with you can see you are going to see coal in the non-conventional components here, you can see so the next thing is to define the property method that is the thermodynamic method to use to calculate the thermodynamic properties of the streams here on top of all the components so i'm going to use id because just a simple system so id is, is choosing so the main if you want to move forward to the next step, because I'm already used to Aspen Plus, that's why I'm just clicking the next step. You can just click on this next here to show you to the next form to be full net next required form. Because there's a lot of methods to calculate the properties like this entropy property and density of this code because it needs the properties in the stream. You understand the uh, the property method that is you understand for that component code. So we have to use a is we have to choose a standard uh method you understand to get the entropy of that code that we just defined even if it's stone that you, you want to model you can get you can use it you can choose the right method you understand it will be based on the um on the on the elemental analysis like personas or uh, post analysis like your uh, ultimate analysis 
you understand or or some vis, um, software analysis of the or, of the component that you put into as plus you understand it's going to use so i'm going to use the one that they normally use for code which is h code chain so it's going to this one is going to need all this um of course proximate analysis or need analysis and so need analysis proximate analysis is just like it's going to um it's just an experimental composition of the code you're just you're going to define the amount of ashes amounts of um water contents and um volatile matter and um this carbon inside the inside the component you understand so it's going to use it to calculate the entropy and ultimate analysis is like major element that you can find you understand inside the element surface amount of sulfur inside the element so density we are going to use like general one this one is the general one they normally use the code list so 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 i'm going to i think that that everything is done so you can click on next again let's see i think everything is done so now i think we are done with this thing we have set everything up so we go to the flow sheets okay let me explain this one first this one is just the option code for for the method to be used is using another like this there are some inbuilt methods in the in, the, in aspen plus you understand so you can choose another method but i'm going to use the default because there's no big deal so to go to the simulation environment you just click this tab here from the after the properties now it's just this this environment is just setting up environment this one is when you do the way modeling so to start my modeling i'm going to start creating the model the blocks that i'm going to use so the blocks i'm going to use are the streams so oh uh, let me do something first let me set up because there's something that we call same class you know because we are using uh, like you know i told you before if you are just new you should work with templates you understand in our templates you work with templates but we does something we call same class same class is it talks about the, the type of component that you are using in your streams you understand we have a mixed stream that one contain conventional components only we have conventionally in that stream that one sub stream no sorry it's not even stream sub stream mixed stream contain on um, sub stream is just is just like hierarchy to you understand different combination of sub stream make streams you understand so it makes him is for conventional components technically um, conventionally in that solid that one is if you want to is want the solid to take part in the or uh, in the phase calculation you understand you want it to be motel but it's also a solid so it have to be treated like a solid that takes part in the phase rigorous uh, normal component solid like carbon you understand carbon is an element you understand but cool you cannot make cool just a component you understand so we have to measure, model it and not conventional component but unless you have all the properties and the flash calculation all the parameters for you understand the parameter like on uh, the data bank you understand these um the component parameter for cool you can model that conventionally in that solid you understand so but right now we are using non conventional so this stream class we now talk about the, um, the type of stream substream that i want in our process so i'm just going to use mix and not conventional substream so i'm going to use this one mix you can see with substream mix and not conventional from the two tip that you can see so i'm going to choose this one okay so the everything is done except that one so let's go back to the flow sheets and i'll create my blocks so now we are going to go to reactor so i'm going to pick out stock so just click on it and place it to block one so you can then just leave it block one for now so we have the um the flash separator you could separator flash too so you put it there so the next thing is to pick a material stream it is it's very easy to do so you connect it this is a product you connect it here stream one i'll be changing the name later so it's just to make it fast so so don't pick the water decant, just pick the product stream. Okay. So there are three. We just we three already exist. Four. So pick another one here. Five. Okay, I think that was everything. So you press escape to so finish it. So you can draw this one down. Draw one down. I 
I don't know. I have to draw. I want to draw another one there. I hope this thing is connected. If not connected, I'll be through yes. So we have this. So um right now I'm just going to set I'm just trying to rearrange everything. Just need to I really need to use oops I really need to use this thing nitrogen wet cool okay so let's rename it this waste of time we know it's four is our nitrogen right the, the wet cool is our 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 hair I hope we don't make mistake so so I the the next thing once you once you are done with this thing is to start putting all the components so i'm going to put this one to be my nitrogen so you can see it's this one is as a may inactive so you understand so because we are not using this room so this one the um, the type of intensive property the dynamic property that you want to insert so right now for this stream i came from our flow sheet is the temperature is they only give us temperature and pressure so we are going to put 70 power right and 14.7 so 270 then psi i think psi don't make mistake some units so this one is 14.7 14.7 so all so the flow is some um, 50,000 Zero point nine nine fifty point two three. So this one is um zero point nine nine. So then do that. It's more fraction. More fraction. You don't need to be like put everything in the standard. If you calculate everything, you understand. It's a simulator. It's like a tool for you. You understand. So I'm just going to pick uh more fraction here so that you so you the only thing you have to do is be sure that you are putting the right value. You understand. So this one is 0 0.001. Even if you were wrong, it will tell you you're wrong. You understand? You can see the total is now one. You understand? So this one has been completed. You understand? So okay, all the required for info has been given. So for this, I'm going to use not conventional. Okay, 70, 77 fire. 77 fire. The same thing 14.7 psi 14.7 psi then the mass flow is um 10,000 okay so because it's continually cool so i'm going to build okay oh, don't put more fuel mass so that like i said mass fashion so i'm going to pick one so the component has to be that's what i'm saying we have, we have to put the approximate and um Proximate analysis that is the personal analysis plus two. The proximate analysis is uh the moisture content is 25. So the, the percentage you understand know, this one is wet pieces, percentage wet basis. So you are going to put water there. The fixed carbon is 14.1 so 45.1. Sorry, this one is 45.7 and the ash is 9.2 so you have to make sure everything is equal to 100 okay so so we pick the ultimate analysis this thing i needed to calculate the entropy of this component the ultimate analysis contain ash will contain 9.2 then sample that's to correspond with the first one 67.1 1.1 for nitrogen so chlorine is 0.1 so we have sulfur too let me draw this bar down so that we can see clearly sulfur is 1.3 the bonus sulfur like that so this one is now 16.4 so let's do this often it's sulfate analysis 0.6 take the amount of sulfate 0 0.1 0 0.6 okay i think this one too is done so the next thing is to configure the block so 
you can see the next the next um button here to tell you the next so this one that open the house to block you understand so for this block you can see okay you can put the temperature or the reactor up to the temperature the reactor prayer you understand so is your okay you can put the temperature unless you specify duty since uh the since there is no reaction in the process so i will just specify the duty because duty is the same thing as specifying prayer so i'm going to put zero duty you understand i gave battery process for the as as a topic you uh, you understand as a Isobaric process, sorry, is um prayer is zero, period up is zero, you understand? So it's the outlet pair will be the inlet pair. So for the adiabatic duty is zero, you understand? So that one is done here. So now it's specified the reaction. So I'm just going to say reaction one, you understand? Then I'm going to use coal as my coefficients and the product is going to be H2O. So but the stoichiometric is going to be because this um action plus traits any non conventional component because you can they don't you, you can see when you are inputting non conventional we are not using more we are using mass so it's also this reaction is mostly on mass basis so it's you to take one mole of non non conventional that is having a molar mass of one pound you understand so it's going to take one pound for the molar mass of the coal you understand that all the non conventional coins is going to take one pound. So I want to use because one pound in to calculate one pound in if one more of this one reacts, you understand. One more of water should be should be gotten to you understand. So you have to calculate that ma one pound in respect to the molar mass of water, you understand. So that's why I'm using a fraction that I got. You understand. So this fraction is now so I'm going to say one more of this one. You understand b what is one more of um one more of co you understand like one pound that would be one pound so one pound of of of, of water divided by molar mass of water molar mass of water is um 18 1 over 18 so you get this fraction so 0 point 0 point 0 more of water you understand we get that is one pound of this one we get one pound of water you understand is a mass basis you understand so the next thing is to calculate the fractional conversion because um we want the product to be i don't know if i can show you my calculation i have to do some back calculation so because we want the product to be 10 10 um 10 which percent of water you understand so we want to reduce our our moisture content you understand in the in the product in the in the product of this stock house stock you understand so the fractional conversion should be 0 0.15 when i did the calculation so you just put it 0 0.15 you understand like 15 percent of the of the coal will be converted to water after the drying it's just like you know in reality it is not a reaction but we are using a simulator to find to check the relationship to compare the reaction you understand so we are going to specify the conversion we can still make this thing more rigorous you understand by using more advanced tool in our spring plus but i don't want to use it in this video because this is like a very i want to teach basic of our spring plus later in if you check my advanced video you will be see where we are going to be using calculators you understand how we explain how to make this thing more flexible you understand so i think this reaction is done or make let me click next to so, rational conversion mode the component so component so i need to specify the comp component that is the reactor reactants we have one reactant i don't know why it's just not making it done so now this one too is done so the next thing is to specify the component attribute of the product so not conventional so school so i'm going to instead of using the same component i'm going to reduce the moisture content to 0 0.1 to 10 sorry that will be our product now so it's going to give us 10 moisture container at the product you understand so because you can see uh once to get once i got this fractional conversion of 0 0.15 when i back calculate the the what is given to us here i back calculate it using stoichiometry you understand 
to, to get the amount of conversion of this one which that is expected in this dryer you understand so that's why i put it on one five so the component attribute must have reduced you understand that is the motion control with three to ten you understand so right now we just get the properties of other streams and the flow of the of the source you understand this you understand all this thing all this uh, theories that are not given to us i think the next thing is you click the next you pick the next block so this one too is there so you pick duty because we don't want to specify you can use with proportion to so is zero so this one is now also is zero so i think everything is now done in the process we can now run our first simulation in our frame plus so in sense so we have these so these are our dryer these are our azure so let me run So let's see. You can see the progress in the control panel. No error, so it's generating the results. So it has done. The result is now available. So you can check the result of your stream in, in your stream result here. Overall protest result. So this is our stream one two three then this for block i again do for the whole stream where is this result summary so you check it says stream so this is for the all the streams so our stream four is our nitrogen stream these are our cold stream this is um a pseudo stream you understand to model just connect the two operation just like the the product of this one we sent to the flash where it's going to be separated yes so, so these are our SO stream too so we can check our stream two. So our stream two is having the temperature of eighty three point nine seven three and pressure of fourteen point seven bar. So um, so the mass flow of the SOS is this. So the component of the SOS is the water is um thirteen point one one thousand two hundred and thirteen point four four pounds per hour. So cool. There is no cold there. You understand from the bottom. Where is the bottom? This is the bottom stream three. So stream three is having eight thousand five cool. So cool is not in the way. You understand? So each cool that has been sent to the feed, you understand some cool. The, the flow of cool is not this. You understand? So this is like a simple thing that you can do too. You can check the component attributes here too. As it's changing. So you to you'll be able to monitor the whole process. So you can check the personal analysis. You can see 10, 10, 25, 10, 10. You understand? So the other stream does not contain that substream. You can soften it. Analysis is not changing. So that will be the end of our first video on the basis of our stream plus simulation. So thank you for watching. Join us next time on this channel and on our website too.